Hi guys, today we will look in the scenario in which Russia decides to go and nuke Ukraine. And well, we'll see what the international response would likely be. Yeah. You probably all know what it will be. Almost like it's common sense. But we'll find out. Well, what would happen? Obviously, Russia isn't keeping those islands if they decide to do what they're going to do. And yeah. They even get more territory. Well, no, that's not going to work that easily. But there has to be one thing to happen first. And I'm getting kicked out of their annexed land. Well, they have been recently making big gains in the East, but nothing to overshadow what Ukraine's been able to manage to do. And they push south into Kherson. Along the river. And they encircle Russian forces, pushing them back. With Russian forces getting increasingly... With all of Kharkiv being fully liberated, and the Luhansk front and Donetsk front starting the shift, and Zaporizhia, well, some old 70-year-old decides they had enough, especially after their birthday present. Happy birthday, Putin. Boom, goes a bridge. Yeah. Well, it's at this time that their first escalation comes out to play. Belarus joining. There's nothing really happening. But a new front being started here with Belarusian and Russian forces. But this goes awful. And well, Russia is almost completely kicked out of Ukraine when they go do the most cruel thing they could ever do. And no, not that big. They decide to nuke Kherson in Kharkiv. They tried to nuke Kiev, Odessa, and Lviv, but fail miserably. Ukrainian forces are pushed back as a lot of supplies. And a lot of forces head to these cities to help fix it. And they also have loads of forces there. Russian forces swoop right through Kherson. But that's where they're kind of... But it's not long until America says, Russia. And with their best friend, well, they're polar bears. They completely escalate the war. And Putin is warned that if they don't... Russia's warned that if they don't stop 
there will be consequences that the world has never seen, that the face of the earth has never seen. And while Finland, Sweden, Norway get involved, the Baltic brothers, Moldova decides to, France does, Spain does, Andorra does, Britain, Iceland, they get involved, here gets involved, them, them, Slovenia and Croatia get involved, Greece and Turkey get involved, yeah, which is crazy, with everyone basically getting involved, including Kosovo and Bosnia. Serbia, seeing how this is going to go, decides to stay neutral. With Russia regrouping it, getting ready. With many forces that are stationed in this area, they push through. While American forces are readying. And they cut the Baltics in two, with Russia starting a rampage into Finland. And a rampage into Ukraine's north, due to the fact that less weapons are getting involved. And well, Ukraine is now <laughs> does one thing that's the world never expects. They kick them out of the north. And they have offensive operations in the southern Belarus. Creating a tiny spearhead that goes nowhere. Well, their plan is to get all the way to Berlin before, well, American forces arrive. And with... Well, their economy pretty much being shut off. They go to cut Finland in two, which fails. Yeah. And with this, Putin, who is still upset. Yeah. A Russian state that's upset goes further. And even hits Chernev. Warsaw. Berlin, Helsinki. You know who else they hit? Ankara. They may, they tried it. Nukes almost hit Paris, shot down, and the lowland countries shoot ones headed for their capitals. Britain shoots one down, headed for London. Spain shoots one headed for for Madrid. Portugal for Lisbon. And many others are shot down. But this was done to cause disorder in the Western militaries. Well, Russia calls in the Collective Security Organization. Which doesn't go so well, because Kazakhstan refuses, Kyrgyzstan refuses, and Tajikistan refuses. North Korea and Iran and Syria, well, Russia's biggest supporters get involved. China stays neutral, stating that they're not going to help a nuclear threat to the world. Yeah, basically. Venezuela gets involved. Cuba gets involved. Well, some of America's best friends get involved. Panama gets involved. Costa Rica gets involved. El Salvador gets involved. This is mostly because, well, they know this is going to happen. With Nicaragua getting involved. And then these countries decide, yep, yeah, it's time. And yeah, if it was World War III, there'd be a lot more allies. But no, this is just one foolish war. Yeah. Well, 
American forces start two campaigns. Actually, they start three. Campaign in Nicaragua. With quick action by the Americans, well, they completely obliterate... They completely obliterate the Pacific Fleet. And the only areas that Russia is really able to protect are two small areas. The Black Sea. Yeah. The Baltic, the Gulf of Finland. Well, no. Those must be all the colors I ever used. But besides that, in the areas. That are under Western control. They control all of us. They control a lot of water. Japan and South Korea are seeing if they'll get involved. Yeah, with just one navy. That's what naval dominance looks like. Yeah. With Japan and South Korea finally getting involved. You know what other two countries get involved? These guys. How come Armenia is a part of the blue team? And well, a successful Russian campaign has led into the blue team with Iran and allies connecting. And well, the Russian. Navy manages to somehow take over the sea. And well, they get to here. That's as far as I can get. And well, I will be right back. You know what happens right now? Well, the second I get right back, you want to know what happens? Well, somebody's north falls, which leads to the capitulation of Libya. And then Finland is like, hey, Russia, what's up? Well, they push all the way to the border. Poland pushes them back. But one bad thing happens. Which Russia was warned about. If they use a nuke, the worst possible outcomes will come. Which they use one on Lviv. They use one on Bucharest, Sofia. They use one on Istanbul. And they decide they'll use one on Paris, which succeeds this time. You know what America's response is? Minsk. Volgorod. St. Petersburg. Moscow. Val Valvistock. Pyongyang, Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea. And along with Japanese forces, American forces managed to capture all of North Korea after this. Yeah. And then they push into Val Valvistok. And they push into Sakhalin. Which kind of sounds like something. There's only one limitation, and that is, well, they can only get to here. Which they do manage to make it to. 
Which is a great achievement. Well, many people in Russia are not content with the current state of the country. And well, Russia starts a campaign into the north of Ukraine, which does manage to capture Kiev. Yeah, I will be right back. Yeah, Russia does. Before someone, before some partisan forces decide to rise up. Yeah. And they push up north. With this, Ukrainian forces are led easy advances. Oh. You know where else they had some trouble? Turkey, which pushes them completely back. And yeah. Well, this is also at the time after America decides to sink the rest of the Russian fleet. Oh my god. And the Iranian fleets, but that's not on the map. Oh, with Finland and allies during a campaign into the Baltics. Yeah, with this campaign going to the success. Ukraine's campaign kicking Belarusian forces goes successfully. And they push across the south. Into the Donbass region. And they push them out of the north. Out of here. An ultimatum is sent to... Russia saying, surrender or we will take back our land. Which they do. And they blow up the bridge completely. And, well, they have a bit of fun and they have a party. And then Russia's like, and then there's no Russian flags left in Ukraine. Oh. Crazy. And they push in. And they push in. With forces rushing from the south. Yeah, forces rush through the south. Forces rush through into Belarus. Oh, you know where else forces rush through? Central. With a Russian revolution breaking out with democratic forces. And well, they connect their forces. Yeah, their forces rampage here. No. It is strong forces. Well, compared to Russian forces at this point in time. Which is unlikely to be strong. And while well, a major offensive has started into Russia. Now we'll look back at the situation. Well, Russian forces are almost completely gone with St. Petersburg and Moscow and... Volgorod at battles. Which goes so well. Yeah, very well. Depends on which side you're on. First, St. Petersburg falls. Then Volgorod falls. And then forces encircle some Russian forces. And they start pushing north of Moscow. Of the Kremlin in sight. Well, they push in. Moscow falls, and the rest of Russia capitulates. And then, well, someone is brought to be hung. Some old guy. Yeah, 
pretty mean. Well, guess what? Peace time. Yeah, I'll be right back after the Treaty of Pisca. That's not good. Yeah, the overview of the treaty. Well, Italy gained some lands out of Libya. Greece did. Libya gets an American government. Turkey gained land out of Syria. Syria gains an American government. Nicaragua gets a pro-American government. While Costa Rica gains land. Everai gains land out of Venezuela. And then America creates puppet state. Yeah. They also create... They also annex Cuba. But they say it's a puppet, but really they annexed it. And then they occupy this land in Iran. Because definitely not full of oil. Makes a pro-American one there. Pro-American Armenia. These are all annexed. Ukraine gets thick. Russia's run by the Republic of Russia. Japan gets those land. Korea exists. And, well, Finland just gets fat. Finland likes to get fat. Yeah. Poland gets fat. Lithuania gets fat. Latvia gets fat. Estonia gets fat. Japan gets fat. America gets fat. Everyone just gets fat. And, yeah. We just have one problem. And it has to do with one big event of this war. No, oh, that is not even close to what's But yeah. That goes this. This goes that. Boom. Boom. Yeah, all the nuclear sites get big. I'm not showing you what's going on over the ocean. Yeah. Now you know where all these disasters happened. Well, the water is completely contaminated. And well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. That's all for today's video. Wild Mapper out. Please subscribe. I want to get 50 subscribers. And we're only 11 away from 50, which is huge. And subscribe to support this channel. Because if you don't, well, it's not good. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Wild Mapper out. Well, that's all for today's video. Wild Mapper out.